Hi, I'm Agnes from Singapore Cancer Society. Through this video, I hope to share with you more about colorectal cancer, which is cancer of the colon and rectum, and the screening options. For the past few years, colorectal cancer has emerged the number one cancer in Singapore. But what is colorectal cancer? To help us understand this cancer better, we have invited Dr. Leong Kuok Ming from Tan Tok Seng Hospital to share this cancer and its screening options. I'm Dr. Leong. I work in Tan Tok Seng. I'm a colorectal surgeon. In other words, I'm a surgeon that mainly operates on colorectal problems. Well, colorectal cancer is the most prevalent cancer in Singapore. In other words, it is our number one cancer. Colorectal polyps are abnormal growth of the lining of the colon and rectum. And most colorectal cancer patients do not have any symptoms in the early stages. If left alone, obviously these cancers become more advanced and that's where symptoms occur. And these cancerous polyps can develop into full-blown cancer and spread to other parts of the body. But we shouldn't wait for symptoms to occur. Any Singaporean or permanent resident over 50 years old to come forward for some screening. The simplest screening tool that we have is something called the fecal occult blood test, FOBT. It's very simple. It, it tests for blood in your stool. If it's positive, you can go and see a doctor and most probably they will recommend you to be seen by someone like me, a colorectal surgeon, would be to do a colonoscopy. Well, a colonoscopy is a, it's a flexible tube that, is, that has a, a camera at the tip and this camera enables us to look at the insides of the colon and rectum. The main purpose of the colonoscopy is to detect polyps or early cancers. Now, what happens if we find a polyp or cancer? Well, the good thing is this colonoscopy is both diagnostic, it can diagnose, and it's potentially therapeutic. It can also remove the polyps at the same time. This procedure is usually done as a, as a day, day procedure. You do not need to stay overnight, and most patients tolerate it very well. Therefore, if you're over 50 years old, please come forward for the FOBT test because early detection saves lives.